Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. I've been asked a couple of times for this video, so this is for you guys. Do you want a developer that can do both film and paper? Yes, a one-stop shop, one single developer you can make at home and use for everything. Well then, this video is for you. This is a very interesting developer to make and use. And the reason is, of course, it is balanced to both process papers and uh, develop photographic paper as normal um, D72 or E72 paper developer that we've seen before, but also balanced to process film. And it's that trick that this developer has up its sleeve, which is actually very useful. What it means is that you can make one developer in your darkroom for all uses. You won't have to need more than this one developer for everything. And so I want to demonstrate not just making this, but actually using it on your film and your paper. You'll be very surprised how good this developer is. Now, originally it was called Ilford PQ Universal, and you can still actually buy Ilford PQ Universal pre-made as a liquid paper developer. And Ilford in their spec sheets tell you some timings for developing film. They don't recommend it for 35 millimeter. Now, I don't know if that's because the modern variant of this developer doesn't work as well with 35 millimeter or not, because I've used it with 35 millimeter and got some excellent results. In fact, it is what I'd call a fine grained developer. It's as fine grained as D23, which is a little more fine grained, in my opinion, than D76. So it's actually a finer grain developer than D76. It's sharp and it has lovely contrast in film. So I'm really excited to be able to demonstrate this for you. Um, I think it's a fun developer. I think it's something you can use. It's very useful for you to know about this developer. And honestly, give it a try, guys, because I think you might find this is just the thing for you. So what's it made of? Well, like all paper developers and many film, modern film developers, it's PQ, which means it's a phenidone hydroquinone developer. They're the two developing agents that's used within this. And as we put it together, we'll talk a little more about that. There's no metol in it. So anyone with a metol allergy is better off using this kind of developer than a metol based developer. Now, the first thing we can do is I'm going to make 500 milliliters of this developer. So keep that in mind that all the numbers I give you are to make 500 mil, not one liter. It's important to remember that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got some hot water here, hot to the hand, not boiling, just hot to the hand water, which will help the chemicals dissolve easily. And I've got round about 400 milliliters of that in, in this glass uh, Pyrex. The first thing I'm going to do is add the sodium sulfite, which of course is the preservative and adds a little bit of alkalinity, not a lot, but a little bit. And that's 25 grams going in there to make 500 mil of this developer. So I'll pop that in. Now, many of you who followed my videos will know that if you have a metal based developer, you would just first of all add a pinch of sulfite, dissolve your metal, and then add the rest of the sulfite because metal does not dissolve in a high sulfite solution. But because this is a PQ, a phenidone hydroquinone developer, it doesn't matter. We can add the whole of the sulfite straight away at the beginning. So make sure you dissolve that fully, first of all. And all these chemicals should be added in the order I give and dissolved fully before you add the next chemical. Standard practice when making developers and stops and fixes. Okay, lovely. So that's all di dissolved. So the next thing I'm going to add is the sodium carbonate. Now this is sodium carbonate anhydrous. The sodium sulfite that I just put in was also anhydrous. Sodium carbonate anhydrous is a very light chemical. And we're going to add 30 grams 
to make 500 mil of developer. Now, this is 10 grams worth, so I'm going to have to uh, replenish this two more times to add to this to get to 30 grams. So bear with me while I do that. I'll pop in that 10 grams to start with and start it dissolving. And now I'll add another 10. And I'll fast forward the video here so that you don't have to watch me go through this boring uh, weighing out of the chemical. And there's the last of the 10 grams going in. So that was a total of 30 grams of sodium carbonate anhydrous. Let's make sure that dissolves. Very easy to make this and very simple chemicals. They're relatively cheap to buy. This is a very economical developer to use for film. And when we get to that, you'll see just how economical this is. Probably one of the most economical developers you can make at home. Okay, good. That's all dissolved. All right, now I'm being very careful not to create dust and breathe it in. I have the door open. I have a lot of airflow in here and you should do the same. And I'm wearing gloves. And the next thing I'm going to put in is hydroquinone. Now the hydroquinone is a chemical to be very wary of. You don't want to mess around with this stuff. Don't breathe it in. Be very careful when you're using it not to create dust and throw it around. I'm going to gently pour that in and this is six grams of hydroquinone to make 500 milliliters of developer. Six grams. So let's dissolve that. And mine's going pink and that's quite normal to see a color change at this point. You may or may not, depending on your hydroquinone. That dissolves very easily. And once it's in solution, it's a lot safer. Although you still don't want to get this on your skin. You don't want to get any chemicals on your skin. The days of using your fingers in developers have gone. You should not be doing that. So do protect yourself from these chemicals. Take all the sensible precautions. So that's the hydroquinone in solution. The next thing after the hydroquinone is I'm going to add phenidone. Now I have a point a 1% solution here, which means that 10 mils of this 1% phenidone solution will provide 0.1 of a gram. And I need to add 0.25, a quarter of a gram. So I'm going to add 25 mil of this solution. So let me get a measure for that. Here we are, I have a nice measure here for that. So 25 mil of my 1% solution. Lovely. In it goes. So the hydroquinone and the phenidone are the two developing agents and they're super additive, which means they support each other in the development. They actually work together. Their combined strength is greater than the sum of their strength. We dissolve that in, make sure it's well mixed. Now the next thing I want to add is potassium bromide. Now potassium bromide is an anti-fog chemical to stop papers and film fogging. And for 500 mil, I need to add one gram 
of potassium bromide. And I'll put all these names up on the screen for you. Just gently tease that in. Lovely. We've used potassium bromide in other formulas we've made on this channel. And it's a very good anti-fogging agent. But, interestingly, this developer, Ilford PQ Universal, uses a second anti-fogging agent, which is called benzotriazole. Now, benzotriazole is sold often as a solid, and it's like a... Um, it's, it's a very light, fluffy looking chemical, sometimes referred to as BZT online. Now, you usually add this as a percentage solution. So I've made a 1% solution here, and I'm going to add 10 mil of this 1% solution to make 500 mil of developer. So let me get a measure for that. Here we are, I've washed that out. So I'll measure my 10 mil. There we are. 10 mil of a 1% benzotriazole solution. Lovely. Now that is our developer made. All I need to do now is to top this up to 500 milliliters and then let's get on and develop a film with it. As I mentioned, this developer is very economical to use. I've poured a small amount into this little tiny measuring jug just to make it a little easier for me to uh, use a syringe. And I'm going to dilute the developer to develop film at 1 plus 29. So I'm going to take 10 milliliters of developer and add 290 milliliters of water at 20 degrees centigrade. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just get my 10 mil there and pop it in. That 500 mil that we just made at this dilution will develop 50 films. That's very economical. So I'm going to now make this up to 300. And that with water. I'm going to be developing some FP4 that's in this developing tank. And I'm going to use 10 minutes with Ilford agitation. So 10 minutes, 1 plus 29. It's a paper developer. Let's just see how good this is. Here are the negatives. And they're looking fine. I mean, they're, they're good contrasty negatives. They look well developed. Um, interesting shadow detail. I'm going to print these now. Um, and I'm going to show you what it's like. And of course, I'm going to print them in the same developer that I just developed this film. I think you're going to be very surprised just how well this developer works. Now, to make the paper developer, I'm going to use, of course, the same stuff I've just mixed earlier. But the dilution offered by Ilford is 1 plus 9. Now, I think it needs a little bit more than that. So instead of 100 mil to 1 litre, I'm going to add 150 mil to 1 litre of water. It's a little bit more, but I think it makes a, a difference in the quality of the print. So let's do that now. I've got a small measuring jug here, and I'm just going to put 100 
and 50 mil into this mixing jug then top it up with plain tap water and a little bit more to make our one litre there so I'll now develop a print from those negatives that I made earlier with this developer and here's our print it's my usual test print of the garden gate and as you can see it's quite frankly excellent there's nothing wrong with that at all it's been beautifully rendered beautifully developed both the film and the paper now just because I wanted to show you the quality of the grain or the lack of it, which is amazing. This is FP4 running at 125 ISO. I blew up the negative to 12 by 16 inches. And this is a portion of 12 by 16 inches. And I think you'll agree that's superb. Look at that. There is nothing wrong with that developer both for film and paper so if you want a one-stop shop if you want to just have one developer that you can make at home and use for both your films and your papers this is the one to use it is remarkable how good it is for both honestly I would use this developer there is nothing wrong with that print it's quite lovely it's grade two. This is a high contrast subject and grade two from 35 millimeter. I would expect that's a, it's a good grade for this. I think 10 minutes is about right for this developer in FP4. 125 ISO. I might take it down to 80 ISO because I think the shadows could do with a little bit more exposure. But that is lovely. I'm very pleased with that. Thank you for watching. It's been fun showing you this particular developer today. And I want to give a big thumbs up to my patrons who bring you this channel. Thank you guys. I really appreciate that. I'm sure thousands of people that watch the channel every month appreciate what you're doing for us. So thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up, everybody. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next week. Thank you ever so much, and I'll see you again very soon.